With great power comes great responsibility. Power corrupts. Families betraying for glory. We've lost sight of our true strength as a community. The lessons we've learned from the fables and tales, which is that the mightiest power of all is love. Love for family, friends, and each other. The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah Alcaf is a novel that wonderfully portrays the importance of the strongest power of all, the power of love, the bonds we create along the way. A very good morning to everyone. My name is Lin Alia Wajiha binti Imkias alias Ame from SMK St. Bernadette's Convent. The novel that I will be presenting is titled The Girl and the Ghost. This novel is a fictional novel that was published in 2020 by a company called HarperCollins. It has 288 pages. Before we dive into the mystical world of the girl and the ghost, we must not forget the genius behind it. Hannah Alkaf, who worked as a copywriter for online B2B marketing, a senior writer in magazines, and a communication manager at an NGO for education. She graduated with a degree in journalism at Northwestern University. Truly an inspiration. This book is available on websites and libraries if you're interested. I'd highly recommend you look into it. Diving into the realm of the girl and the ghost, the feelings were mystical, magical, and a little eerie. There was a slight unsettling feeling towards it that can't be put into words. The spiritual realm seems to be filled with curiosity, adventure, but also danger. The way the author craftily described a palisade in a way that makes him lovable, cute, and yet scary, amaze me. The story starts with an evil witch known to destroy and cause havoc everywhere she goes, accompanied by a powerful and evil palisades. He feels no remorse for the deeds he committed. One day, the evil witch died of unknown causes, leaving the palisades in frantic searching for his new owner. After a little digging, the palisade found a picture of the witch's daughter, along with her dress. But when he visits the house, the bubbly girl in the photo was long gone. All that's left is a shell of the woman she used to be. He was close to giving up when he saw her daughter, Suraya. The contrast between Surya's bubbly personality and her mother's cold and almost lifeless persona intrigues the palisade. He has decided he had found his new master, Suraya. He introduced himself, and a lonely little girl who had no friends chose to call him her own. She named him Pink. <laughs> That was the beginning of a long friendship that will lead to growth, grief, and a lesson for us all. Although this novel might seem illogical to some, it demonstrates the world extremely well. Firstly, the danger of people who yearns for too much power. For example, the shaman greedy for his power. The emotions or suffering of others means nothing to him as long as he managed to gain more power even going as far as to threaten and scare Suraya, who was only a teenager. In addition, it perfectly demonstrates the unhealthy aspect of a codependent relationship. Pink lashing out at Jingwei for being friends with Suraya leads to Suraya leaving him. Finally, the demonstration of grief. People grieve differently. Some move on, some forget, some can't let go. For example, Surya's mother, who pushed everyone away because of the pain she felt from the loss of her beloved son. Surya's grandmother turned into an evil witch and tried to resurrect him in denial. This story helped us understand the importance of mental health, especially around death 
of loved ones. This book is very dear to me, not only because of the creative world building, but also their choice of words that make us truly feel for the character. This book is highly recommended, not only so we can change the stigma of seeking help regarding mental health, but also as a manual for teenagers like me who are still navigating through life. Without the ghosts and spirits, of course. This story also shows that our past does not define us. As the book states, all I've learned of my grandmother so far is that she was a horrible, mean person. And I have her blood. What does that say about me? It says that the most beautiful blooms comes from the darkest soil. Thank you.